with Rich Davidson. Rich, you came to visit us at the Flying Cruise Inn this year. We really appreciate that. And while you were up there, you invited us to come down here to your airport. And when I say your airport, it's your airport. Oh, yeah. And uh, Rich, tell us where we're at and what we're doing today. All right, uh, we're just outside, just outside of Hanover, Indiana, on the Ohio River. Um, this place is nestled right in a large Ohio River bottom. Um, what we have here today is just an antique and classic fly-in. We named it Wood Fabric and Tail Wheels. That's basically parts you find on a antique aircraft, so it, the name kind of says it all. I mean, we're right down here on the Ohio River. Oh yeah, yeah, it's uh, really nice. It pe everyone says they love this because of the scenery. Uh, you fly downwind over the river, and you land right next to a big 400 foot bluff covered in trees. It's just beautiful. Well, I think you said 410 feet above sea level? Yeah, it's uh, 470, and uh, it's really nice weather down here. It blocks the wind. The river keeps it warmer when it's cold and colder when it's hot. It's just really nice down here. Well, and if anybody would fly in here, we're right next to Hanover, Hanover College, yeah. and Scenic Madison, Indiana. Oh yeah, Hanover College, a very well-known and respectable college. Uh, uh, it's right up on top of the hill. As soon as you take off out of here, you see it. And uh, Madison is very well known for its uh, historic downtown. Uh, the town has gone out of its way to save the old buildings and the way they used to do things. Very nice. So it's a privately owned airport, but the public's welcome to come. Oh yeah, we certified it public use for that reason. Uh, a lot of these planes are starting to be, uh, the planes and their owners are like endangered species and they have very few environments left, I guess is a good way to put it. So you put a grass strip out and you make it open to the public and they just, you know, it's kind of the, if you build it, they will come. Well, it's just like stepping back in the 40s when you're here. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's the great part and we're hoping to do more. Our goal here is to eventually make it to where you feel like you flew back in time when you landed. Well now you live right here, but as a profession, you're an airline pilot. Yeah, I fly for one of the commuters. I do uh, American Connection out of St. Louis. Uh, I'm a captain on a regional jet. It's a lot of fun, but it's nothing like this. Well, a little bit more of the history of this airport. Again, how did it start, and uh, how old is it? Well, I had a gentleman come in last year that uh, had flown a Waco in here in 1938. And that's the earliest history I knew of the place. I knew it had been here. I had talked to several people from World War II, from the Jefferson Proving Grounds just north of here, who said it was here. But off and on, it was a crop duster field. It was a salvage yard for aircraft at one time. And then in the mid-80s, uh, Fritz Hageman, a retired Air Force and retired airline captain, retired here and bought the place and made it what it is today. When he passed away, actually before he passed away, I was helping take care of him. He, was, he had no family, basically. And, and I lived here and helped take care of the place. And before he passed away, he knew I loved it so much, he made a deal with me to make sure I ended up with it when he was gone. Well, and I think it's in good hands because you're going to preserve it just like he created it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that was uh, my big fight. I didn't want anyone to come in and develop it or cut it up or anything like well, that. Well, it's a wonderful fly-in today. I don't know what the count is. There's got to be 100 airplanes in here. Yeah, we're, we're looking at around 120. Last year we had 150, but we had an extreme downpour in the last couple of days. Uh, but we still have a wonderful turnout, and it's uh, as you can see, it's a very diverse collection of aircraft. Not one type, not two or three, but just a little bit of everything. The tail draggers, the old antiques and classics, the home builds, the tail draggers, tube and fabric airplanes, that's what's at home here. Oh yeah, yeah, I love it. Uh, a few years ago, I had my own business, I had an air tour business. Had a World War II primary trainer, it was open cockpit steerman. And that's how I made my living. I hopped around the country hopping rides, just like the old barnstormers. And absolutely fell in love with it. And uh, I guess like so many other people, they dream of having a place that would draw those type of aircraft. And that's what this is. And down here in southern Indiana, the climate. I mean, I'm just uh, up in Marion, but uh, it's, it's a whole different climate down here. Yeah, it's really strange. Uh, a lot of it is the Ohio River. Uh -huh. It, uh, again... It keeps, it tends to keep the climate warmer when it's cold and colder when it's hot. I have actually woke up in the morning, in the winter time, and the grass was green. I drove up on top of the hill and there was four inches of snow. That's amazing. It's That's very amazing. interesting down here. And it also, the hill we have behind us tends to block the wind. So even on very windy days, it's very friendly to antique aircraft. And I know you own a big old Stinson. Yeah. Yeah, I have the Stinson. I, I actually learned in an uh, Ronica Champ, the uh, tandem seat version of your aircraft. Uh -huh. 
and uh, I tell you nothing beats a champ nothing does the Aronicas are just great and my heart will always be with those but uh, I have a plane that's very dear to me uh, Fritz the gentleman that owned it before ha who had become like a family member of mine had this old airplane in the hangar and we would go out in the hangar every now and then at night and look at it and look at all the dust on it and uh, he had flown it in here 15 years ago and when he passed it away passed away he uh, passed it on to me and that was his one gift to me and uh, actually last year at this fly-in right after the last plane left we flew it for the first time that's a great great boy if he could have seen it oh yeah yeah it was uh it was a very emotional moment for everybody who had seen it sitting there for over the years in New Fritz. It was a very good moment. Well, we're glad you took time to come up and see us in Marion, but you almost hate to leave, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Everybody comes in there. They say, this place is wonderful. Uh, they have no idea how much work it takes. It takes a full eight hours for me to mow just the grass. That's nothing else. But I tell you, it's worth it when uh, you have to pull the tractor off the runway for an old biplane to land or something. Well, I can imagine. And, but, you know, uh, like you say, you're preserving this. It is a lot of work, but yeah. for the kind of flying that I like to do, and it, it's, it's getting harder for us. It really is, and uh, it, it's starting to get to the point where you feel like if you don't do it, who will? You know, it really does. Well, uh, and from my standpoint, I'm a private pilot, but you're a commercial pilot, airline pilot, and still have that love of the antique and classics. I mean, you're flying on your days off. Yeah, it's funny. I go to work and uh, I, I ask people what they do in their time off and no one says flying. It's really odd. And they ask me and they find out I fly and, I'm, and I tell them, you know, I'm probably a very odd, odd person because I do this job so that I can go home and fly. <laughs> you know, it's very odd to them. Well, Rich, again, we thank you for the invitation down here. This is this is paradise. Oh, yeah, it's great. I, I tell you, at night, the only thing you hear are barges on the river and the crickets. Can we depend on you coming back to the flying cruise in one of these days? Oh, yeah, I'd always wanted to come, and uh, finally had a day off this year and made it. It was wonderful. You do a really great job. Well, we appreciate that, and you do, too, and uh, thank you, Rich. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay.